What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video back here on Madden 23 and we are here with a Dallas Cowboys rebuild. We've pretty much done the whole NFC East so why not just finish it off. So today we are going to be rebuilding the Dallas Cowboys in Madden 23. Before we get into today's video make sure you guys push that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel as always greatly appreciate it as we are trying to approach 5,000 subs over here and uh, pushing a like on this video helps push it out to the YouTube algorithm so thank you guys for that and trust me I see you guys' comments about what teams you guys want to see next there's a few guys commenting Cowboys people were saying might as well do Cowboys next and I agree I don't know if I'll do it that way forever like that like I'm going to do it but by each division it just kind of worked out that way to where I did the commanders first because that was my favorite team and then people voted for the eagles then people voted for the giants so it kind of worked out that way so i was like all right just do the cowboys so uh but keep commenting down below what team you guys want to see next uh we're not going to go division by division i don't want to have to do that but i guess it's just kind of worked out this way but if we look at the dallas cowboys lineup as it sits currently this is what you're looking like so Dak prescott at qb you have zeke elliott tony pollard cd lamb michael gallup dalton schultz at tight end your offensive line has gotten worse but uh, you got a couple of young offensive linemen and steel uh, i don't know how to say his last name but tyler and then i think that's tyler smith as well so you got two tylers in the offensive line this guy they drafted in round one to kind of hope fill that offensive line void they have and then defensively you have anthony barr who they signed recently Leighton vander esch and then micah parsons you got malik cooker and jay ron curse jalen jordan lewis i believe and then uh trayvon diggs uh which we all know how good he can be but we also know how bad he can be and then you have hill and then neville gallimore so I actually don't think I'm going to be doing anything this first season. I kind of just want to see how this team's going to do without me like doing anything because the Cowboys are always one of those teams in Madden that are just like super OP, but are they going to be OP in this video? I feel like every uh, simulation I've had so far, the Cowboys do make the playoffs in year number one, especially since I've only been rebuilding NFC East teams lately. I feel like the Cowboys have been in the playoffs each time. So, and then win the division as well. So hopefully that kind of, uh, you know, transpires with us using them today. And then we're going to do our very best to make the Cowboys a contending team, a Super Bowl contender, which they usually are every year, but they just find a way to choke. But regardless, we're going to still wait to the playoffs, see how we do. And hopefully we're a playoff team year number one. But at this point, would not be surprised if since I'm using them today, we do not make the playoffs. That's just how it goes for me. So at the end of the season, we end up finishing 10 and 7. And the team we started off the season with, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, it looks like we're going to be playing them in the wild card as well against Tom Brady and the Buccaneers which would be quite a game we do win our division so we do get the home game which is nice because as we know us cowboy or i don't know why i said us i'm not a cowboys fan cowboys fans are very very passionate so let's go look at the player stats real quick and kind of see how things went so offense was 19 nfl which is what you expect cowboys offense is usually uh pretty good and the defense i don't even know how good we were because it's not showing me but it looks like we weren't too bad i assume so I'm assuming we were a decent team. That's good. League standing 10. So offense was ninth, and then Dak 45 and 10. So a very good year from him. Zeke Elliott, 1400 yards, 18 touchdowns. Great year out of him. CD Lamb as the number one wide receiver did good. James Washington, I believe he got hurt in training camp, and I'm not sure if he's out for the year. I can't remember or not, but he had 12 touchdowns, 1100 yards, and then 1000 from Schultz, and then 900 from Gallup and 10 touchdowns. So all around very good. And then sacks wise, you got 13 and a half from uh, Micah Parsons, who's an absolute freaking stud. And then 15 and a half from Marcus Lawrence. And then interceptions, you had two from Anthony Barr. So no 11 interception or whatever it was for um, Trayvon Diggs this year. He only had one. So that's disappointing, I assume. So offense was 19 in the NFL. And then defensively, is it going to show me this time around? We were, it doesn't show me, whatever. I think we were a decent defense. I really wish it showed me the rank, but I'm sure I could figure it out if I just really looked. But I'm too lazy. Let's go in to this season and let's see if we can beat the Buccaneers. All right, go into this playoff game, not this season. In this playoff game. Can we beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at AT&T Stadium? One of the most beautiful places on earth, right? I've been there before. It's pretty cool. So let's go ahead and see if we can beat them here, beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and move on to the next round. They come out scoring seven to zero, but we are going to respond. High football game. They respond as well. And we are going to tie it up again. So it's a back and forth game so far, 21 to 14. And we are going to lose, or we're going to go down. And uh, can we come back and score here? Yes, there we go. Does not give us the lead yet. Can we take the lead here? Yes, we can. Boom, field goal. They take it back. Can Dak lead that game-winning drive here? 28-31. We get the ball. Don't give Tom the ball back, and we did. Okay, do I allow Dak to do it, or do I try to come out here and do it, like to just start things off? You have all three timeouts. 41 seconds left. Your boy is going to try to come out here and make something happen. I'm going to make smart reads. Usually I come out here and do something stupid, but you know what? I am confident in my ability 
that I'm about to do something really good. Dalton Schultz gets wide open. So that's going to be my first timeout off the board. Have all three timeouts. Dak Prescott, instead of, you know, running on a QB draw and the time running out, I'm actually going to do a good thing and, you know, lead us on a game-winning drive here. So I got you, Cowboys fans. Don't you worry. I'm going to make it happen. CD Lamb, if you can get open here, or Dalton Schultz, one of you guys, I'd be greatly uh, uh, forever appreciated. And that is not a good gain. We get five yards out of it, but at this point, I'm not trying to burn all my timeouts. Had to use it there because at this point, we only have one left. So, okay. Got to be very careful with what we do from now on. Um, I'm going to go PA crossers on this. Even though, why would we run the ball at all? I'm just going to run PA. So, CD Lamb, if you could get open, that'd be... Oh, no. I can't get sacked. Throw it away. Oh, my goodness. That was almost very bad. That was almost really bad. If I would have gotten sacked and had to burn that last time out, that just is not what we want to see at all. Okay. Third and five. I need a first down. I need someone to get open here. Zeke, if you can get open out of the backfield, you know, that'd be greatly appreciated. Um, we, oh my goodness. We have why. We have why. We have why. Okay. We have why. Can I get out of bounds? Yes, I can. That was almost very scary, but I get it done there. That was uh, quite close. I was almost sacked there, I saw. So, all right, if Schultz usually gets open, I'd be fine with burning my last time out here if Schultz can find a seam here. And that is a touchdown, if he can hold on. Let's go, baby. That is a W possession, but can my defense stop them in 13 seconds? Let's go. We're on the next round. So I come out here with the clutch drive with Dak Prescott and the Cowboys, and we beat the Buccaneers, and we're moving on. Let's get it. Now we head to another beautiful stadium, and that is Lambeau Field going up against the Green Bay Packers. The Packers and the Cowboys are very familiar with each other in the playoffs as well. They've definitely had some crazy matches in the past. The Des Bryant catch, all kinds of stuff. Jared Cook, isn't the Jared Cook thing as well when he got that toe tap on the side? But we're down 10-0, to and we're going to go down 13-0. to So maybe we're not ready for the moment. Mike McCarthy returning to Lambeau, of course, also another story to kind of take into account here but hey we're slowly creeping back in the game and we have tied it up which is nice we're up 16 to 13 can we keep it going they go ahead and uh they're gonna take the lead back okay fourth quarter time and it doesn't look like we're gonna be moving on so it looks like we tied it up gave it a little bit of a shot and then we come out here and we lose the green bay packers so we lose in the divisional round kind of normal stuff for dallas so that sucks. We're going to be, you know, trying to get better in the offseason. But uh, unfortunately, we come up short in divisional. At least we won one playoff game. We could take that into our back pocket and feel decent about that. But for the most part, it definitely sucks to be going home when you're a team that should be going to the Super Bowl year after year, apparently. All right, so we're going to this offseason with about $51 million in cap space. We have all of our draft picks, so we should be able to build through the draft and hopefully just kind of retain everybody. And if we have any leftover cap, then, uh, you know, we'll resign as much as possible. So Anthony Barr... Donovan Wilson is a free agent. I mean, I'm looking at a lot of these guys, and I don't really have any interest in bringing most of them back. Connor McGovern, you have Rico, uh, Rico, I guess I should say, Brett Maher, Ryan Hall. So uh, Terrence Steele, you got Tristan Hill. I'm looking at particularly probably Tony Pollard and Schultz as the two guys I want to bring back. Leighton Van Der Esch potentially as well. I'm going to look at Schultz. I know they did not come to a deal. Wait, did, did Schultz get extended or is he still on the franchise tag? I honestly can't remember. So... I'm going to increase his bonus a little bit and try to get him back. And he is back. So Dalton Schultz, keep our tight end. Nice. Lane Vander Esch. I'm going to go not for Anthony Barr, but for Tony Pollard next. I kind of want to keep Tony Pollard around. I know Cowboys fans love him. So I'm going to offer him a deal. Probably not going to be able to. Uh, if we can't keep him, I guess it's not the biggest deal in the world. And then Lane Vander Esch, just to be on the safe side, because this middle linebacker market that might not be the best. So let's see if we can offer him and he is back. So Leighton Van Der Esch is back. And then do I want to go ahead and give uh, Anthony Barr an extension? No, I do not. Or a contract offer? No. Tony Pollard, I do want him back, but I'm not going to franchise tag him. So we're going into free agency with about $31 million to spend. So nothing too crazy. So I don't want to go too crazy in free agency because I think we're going to eventually have to sign CeeDee Lamb and stuff like that. So if we can make like a trade, maybe we could do that. Uh, but if we look at the team right now, offensive line... It's developed a little bit. So Tyler Smith and Tyler both went up. So both the towers going up. Uh, wide receiver core could use another addition, but maybe we just kind of address that in the draft. We can maybe draft a good wide receiver. Right tackle we lost. So right tackle on the offense. And defensively, could use quite a bit of stuff. Neville Gallimore, star development. DeMarcus Lawrence just had a really good year. Leighton Van Der Esch kept him around. So, and there's quite a bit we could use, to be honest with you, and just little to no room to do a whole lot. So we're going to just do our very best. What we can do is what we'll do. So... If I can sign like a couple of chief free agents and kind of just add some pieces with that way, that'd be great. So 
Derwin James is out here. Levante David. I know Derwin James signed extension in real life. Madden needs to update that. Gasecki, I don't need. Edmonds, I don't need. I do need a tackle, but you know, Jenkins obviously is going to be the top of the market, but he has no interest or teams. There's no interested teams right now. So I would be remiss if I didn't offer uh Mr. Jenkins a contract. So I'll offer him a contract. And if we can get Jenkins to be our brand new right tackle, that's just going to make our offensive line that much better. So we'll offer him a contract. And then we could definitely use some defensive linemen and a corner. So a lot of good options here. D Davenport, Juju. So let's see. So Davenport has two offers. And then we have Yannick with three offers. Okay. And then, so which one do we want? I mean, or do we want to get a corner instead? A lot of different options. Jamel Dean, John Murphy Bunting, who has one offer. He has no interest in coming here though. So I guess we're not getting our corner through free agency. I'm going to probably just you know, focus on defensive line. Linebackers got like Josh Allen, Kyle Vinoy out here, which couldn't be bad. Levante David. And then we got Anthony Barr, who we just had. Andrew Van Ginkle, Trey Flowers, Malik Reed. A lot of different things we could use Quincy Williams. So I could re-sign Anthony Barr, but it does have some interest. I think I want to upgrade the defensive line, though. So Davion Clowney, Dewan Smoot. Um, so players have evaluated. Wait, what? I don't even know what I just clicked. What did I just do? Okay, so I think if you click the left stick, people are kind of teaching me how to do this. If you click the left stick, I think it just simulates a week, which is kind of crazy or simulates the evaluation period. So I just lost out on a lot of guys, which that's confusing, but I think that's what I just did. Dewan Smooth still out here. Right in, you got Yannick Ngakwe. I think I want to go for Marcus Davenport, to be honest with you. If I get Marcus Davenport on this team, that would be pretty awesome. So I'm going to offer him a contract and that's going to put us in a pretty steep bind here, but we are his number one offer. So... If I can get Davenport, so I guess if I just click the left stick, does he sign then? Players have evaluated submitted offers. Okay, so that's actually kind of cool. So Davenport does come to Dallas. So we get Davenport and Jenkins, which I think is a pretty successful offseason. And getting those two guys here, bring them into Dallas with little, and then we have like little to no cap space left, which is going to be a little rough. And then we didn't even get Tony Pollard back, but I mean, what can you really do? So, all right. So Davenport and Jenkins, I feel like that's actually kind of cool. That's kind of cool. You can just click the left stick and kind of see who signs and who doesn't. That makes things a lot easier. So uh, we get Jenkins to be our brand new tackle. So that kind of completes the offensive line. We do need another wide receiver, but I'm pretty sure we can get that in the draft. And defensively, we have Marcus Davenport. So defensive line just gets a little bit better. And then linebacker is pretty bad. Could use a corner. Strong safety, free safety is okay. Uh, but yeah, definitely still need to do a lot. But hey, let's go to the draft and let's just try to do our very best to get as much as we can in the draft. The team is already good. I think this is going to be an all defense draft other than maybe one wide receiver. So maybe, yeah, I, I mean, it's not really an all defensive draft then. So I think I'll go one wide receiver and then rest defense. So let's get into the draft and let's see what we can grab. So we have 27th overall pick in this draft. So kind of depending on where we're at, I guess I'll just take what I feel is best or whoever the best players on the board for what we need. So we have Josh Downs, which we do need a wide receiver, and he is sitting here. So if I uh, went ahead and took him here, he's got a deep route, D catching, D release. Um, then does it make sense to take him if he has D catching? I don't know. That's a good question. What else do we got? We got Jordan Battle uh, out of Alabama, AJ Terry, AJ Perry, or AT Perry. That's a crazy name. I kind of like it though. A catching, A catching traffic. He actually looks pretty solid. Hopefully he's hitting development and he is. We get ourselves a wide receiver in round one. Feeling good about that. So get a brand new weapon for Dak Prescott uh, to kind of rely on. Feeling good about that one. The round two pick 27. Let's try to focus on probably corner or linebacker. So we have, or even, I mean, Garrett Williams here, man to man. So out of Syracuse, he looks like he could be pretty solid. He's got A press, B man coverage, D catching, C the F zone coverage. I'm going to take Garrett Williams here. He is a hidden development corner. I desperately needed that, so I'm happy with that selection. So feeling good about how this draft is going so far. If we can go three for three here, get a hidden development linebacker, your boy would be super happy, but I'm not going to sit here and pretend that'll be the easiest, easiest thing in the world. So we have Parker Washington, Cedric Van Pran. You got a wide receiver still. Uh, Duke. We could take a defensive tackle as well. I'm not opposed to that. And then we have Jack Campbell. Well, I guess it's a scheme fit, but he may not be here if I move on to the next round. So he's got a zone coverage. I mean, we need a linebacker. So you know what? I think I am going to go ahead and take Jack Campbell here. And he is normal, but we needed a linebacker. So that's fine. So we get a young linebacker on this team. And then round four, pick 27. If we have like these good players still here, then we'll go with one of them that we were kind of looking at. So let's see if we do get lucky and have one of them on the board. 
we were kind of looking at uh van pran there then you have right guard caleb chandler marco uh what is that hellems okay and rashad torrance tyreek smith or tyke smith sean okay what do i want i think i would rather i mean i want to mine another safety a hit power detail i don't know what i'm getting at this point so i'll take rashad torrance and he ends up being hidden development okay i'll take that so welcome to the cowboys we get a fourth rounder hidden development so i think i'm gonna end it there uh as far as the draft is concerned and we'll go into this next year feeling pretty good about how this offseason went i think i'm pretty solid on it not too bad all right so our team is officially in the negative as far as cow space is concerned so as far as this team getting better it may not be able to get better so this kind of might be our ceiling here i don't really know how much cow space and flexibility we're going to have so we added jenkins which is great so that kind of protects our offensive line a little bit more and on the defensive side of the ball uh we got a linebacker but he's only a 63 overall not even better with what we have so that sucks and then we got a corner which uh hopefully he can develop into something for us i mean i'll put him at number two why not Kind of see what he can do actually let's probably put him in number three so lewis is going to be your second corner then Malik cooker so the team is it's not bad it's not bad adding marcus davenport feel good about uh scheme fit is concerned as far as it's concerned offense we could be better at multiple zone run defensively we can be better at four six i guess so we'll roll with it like that this season and uh obviously we're expecting to be a playoff team i would imagine we'll see if that is the case some like this season expecting to be in the playoffs once again and if we're not then i don't know what i'm going to do because there's not a whole lot of room to get better so thankfully this season we ended up going 13 and 4 and our money spending was used wisely and it looks like we have the buy so the eagles are right behind us at 13 and 4 as well so we have to keep an eye on them as far as being a scary team garrett williams i believe is the guy we drafted and he's up to a 76 overall which is really nice so if we take a look at the player stats for this season Kind of look how it went so offense was fifth in the nfl which is where we wanted to be each and every year and then defensively we were first so if our defense could be up this got to be our year man and i i sound like a cowboys fan right now but this is this is our year right here rushing wise ezekiel elliott 29 touchdowns 600 yards and then aj per or at perry i can't even say his damn name just had a great year for us start development so he was a slot wide receiver drafted him in round one he produced at a high level you know no surprises there cowboys wide receivers usually produce and defensively Sacks wise, you had nine and a half from Lawrence, nine from Micah Parsons, seven and a half from Marcus Davenport, four from Osa, and then three from Neville Gallimore, one from Hooker, and one from Devin Harper. Do we get a 10 interception season out of Trayvon Diggs? No, but we get five better than last year. We'll take it. Two from Jabril Cox, uh, two from Vanderesh, and then two from Joseph, two from J. Ron Curse, one from Hooker, one from Jordan Lewis, and one from Damone Clark. It looks like our rookie corner did not get any interceptions, which is unfortunate, but he is start development so we'll take that start development corner and we get to you know kind of sit back and relax for the buy here in wild card weekend but we are looking to absolutely win a super bowl this year if we can't do it this year i don't know if we're going to be able to to be honest with you so we get the buccaneers once again so we just beat this team last year i assume tom brady is not the quarterback there anymore I actually want to take a peek real quick before we look so the buccaneers quarterback is tyler van dyke so i don't know who that is does he have hidden development he probably does and they have jimmy g as well so or does he have started them? I should say he probably does. He's had a good year for them. But uh, man, if we lose this team, it's kind of doomsday. So let's not do that. Let's come out here and let's beat the Buccaneers. I'll even rock the color rush, man. That's that's how confident I am. So let's go beat this team. So it is a rematch here in the divisional round this time. We got to divisional last year. And of course, we lost. So losing divisional this year is not an option. We got to beat this team, man. Losing here it would be doomsday. We're the first seed of defense or first defense top five offense we got to come out here and show that man three to three and we're gonna go we did not score there. defense is gonna allow a field goal okay need you to score Dak. there we go six to ten get a stop on defense fumble recovered by micah parsons i need my defense making freaking plays can we keep it going and 6 13 we'll take it and they tie it up okay 13 to 13 again i just do not want to lose to this team so if we do <sighs> <laughs> bro like how can it's just my luck is so poverty man okay we're not out of it just yet but this was supposed to be the year man i it's my fault i said this was our year i sounded like a cowboys fan and this is what happens bro this is literally what happens each and every time i'm gonna give it to dalton schultz give him an opportunity he comes down with it w we got to keep it going so dak has thrown two interceptions this game what a shocker uh we just find a way to just screw it up okay i don't know if i'll get an I'm going to throw it to RB. I'm going to have to give him an opportunity. Perry, can you come down with it? He does. He does. Let's go. Okay. We actually might have a chance to get the ball back. We just have to score here really quickly. I like B's route. Is that there? 
Okay, we get out of bounds at the one. Okay. All right, we're kind of we're kind of balling right now. But my defense has to give me a chance to get the ball back, which is not going to be easy. And then I'm going to have no timeout. So this is going to be quick score. I actually kind of like the idea of Gallup maybe going. Uh, I'm going to throw it to him. And Gallup's going to catch it. Okay, so we score, and that's what we needed. But can my defense get the stop is the question. And we do not. So we're going to lose. To the Buccaneers in the division round. That was supposed to be our window of opportunity, and we choke it away like usual in Dallas Cowboys fashion. Typical Cowboys fashion, we lose to a rookie quarterback. Okay. Lose 27 to 20. I mean, I feel like we got to go at least one more year on this, but we might lose half the roster this offseason. I'm not really sure what it's going to look like, but hey, maybe we have cap space and I can make a stacked roster and we run it back again. Who knows? So we'll go one more year on this. This was supposed to be it right here, boys, but just wasn't, of course. So another re-signing offseason where we have $49 million in cap space, 10 players. I believe CeeDee Lamb is a free agent, so that's a big one, and I don't really know who else is. So we have Tyron Smith, CeeDee Lamb, Trayvon Diggs. Okay, three guys that immediately I want to bring back. There's actually quite a bit of players I want to bring back. So yeah, this is going to be tough to try to keep all of them, but we're going to do our very, very best. Of course, I want to stick with Tyron Smith, CeeDee, and Trayvon Diggs all coming back. Curse, I mean, if we lose him, I guess we got a replacement free safety and then our corner we got a different corner i don't know i'm gonna go ahead and start with tyron's well let's start with cd lamb i think cd lamb's probably did he go down in development trade by the way he used to be superstar i thought whatever i'm gonna offer cd lamb an extension and he better accept this he's back okay cd lamb is back next is trayvon diggs i mean he's superstar x factor of course i want to bring him back after this we're probably gonna have no money so trayvon diggs cd lamb is probably the two best players i could have gotten back and then Tyron Smith, I'd like to keep my prediction for Dak Prescott. So, wow, we have remaining cap negative nine after that. Very player friendly. I don't think I'm going to be able to keep Tyron Smith at this point, which is quite unfortunate. So is there anybody else? I guess instead of Tyron Smith, we go Neville Gallimore because that's just going to put us in negative and I'm not going to be able to offer Tyron Smith a contract. So at this point, I think, and then Tyler, I guess, would be the other guy I go for and we lose Tyron Smith in free agency. So... Tyler is back and we lose Tyron. Yeah, so that's what it's going to be. And we're probably going to lose our safeties as well. So not great. We're going to be going into free agency with little to no cap room. I'll have to see if there's any way to free up some money. I guess I could have tried to maybe free up money to resign Tyron Smith, but it would have been highly unlikely. So looking at the team with Tyron Smith gone, the offense should be fine outside of Tyron Smith. So that's that's okay. I'm assuming CD Lamb went down in development trade because somebody else went up. I don't really know how that works, but... Uh, yeah, I like my offense other than the left tackle that I just lost. Defensively, we lost our safety. And then Torrance is in development, but he's a 65 overall. So I feel like I technically need two starting line or two starting safeties. Not ideal. Our whole defensive line is start development, which is great. Um, so this is not the most ideal situation to be in with no money and no safeties and then no tackle. So this isn't going to be easy, but we're going to have to try to find a way to do something so let's go to our team salaries and let's see if there's anybody that's obvious that i should just be cutting away bring up the money and use it elsewhere so dak prescott not going to cut him zach martin not going to cut him i could cut lawrence and free up 10 million but how much does that really help me i could cut my punter i guess and get 3 million in cow space i can cut kelvin joseph but he's one of the decent corners that i have cut a wide receiver and free up a million so at this point cutting anybody doesn't make a lot of sense so we're going to have to be very, very creative with our $3.5 million in cap space. So I'm thinking a trade and just drafting. I think that's all you can really do. So that is what we'll be doing. I'm going to have to hope one of my, I was going to have to hope while let's go is just going to hold it down at right tackle. And I think I really do need to be looking into trading for safety because I don't want to have to rely on Rashad Torrance. I do need a corner as well, actually cornerback, I guess can be fine with just, you know, Williams and then Joseph and Trayvon Diggs, but yeah, safeties, and I'm going to have to just rely on Clark again. So, then I guess your Bill Cox is here, you know, kind of rolling it down as well. So, let's trade for a safety. That's really our only option at this point. So, I'm trading two third round picks and a fourth round pick in order to get Terrell Edmonds from the Pittsburgh Steelers. I needed something here to kind of capitalize on what I have going on right now. So, it says I still have about $3.5 million in cap space. So, we might be able to be able to, we low key might be able to trade for a free safety as well. We get Terrell Edmonds via our brand new strong safety. And then I was just going to kind of rely on Rashad Torrance, honestly. So, but maybe instead of uh, trading for a strong safety, I look for trading for a right tackle or trading for a free safety, I should say. So unless we could sign up for a free agent left tackle, I mean, anybody would be better than what I have right now. So let's just see if we can 
sign a left tackle and free agency you know tristan warps would be a dream scenario but that's just not realistic at all so left tackle who has no offers jonah williams has no offers right now but let's be honest me offering him a contract is probably going to lead to nothing can i actually even offer that yeah i was about to say it's not gonna let me offer that is it so i have to get a left tackle who's literally eric fisher like can we even offer him a contract? I don't think so. I don't even think we can offer him a con. Well, I guess we can. I'll offer him a contract. I don't know how much he's going to accept it, but that would just be a little bit of an upgrade, I guess, at the left tackle position. Let's see if he uh, accepts it. And let's see. Did he accept it? He did. So I guess we got a smidge of an upgrade at left tackle. Okay. That is my off season, boys. So we definitely got worse, which is why I was... Oh, let's head to the draft, actually. Let's, uh, let's use the draft to our advantage as well. So... We got worse, but we're going to head to the draft and maybe try to make some upgrades in the draft as well. Guess I could have tried to just draft a left tackle, but should be looking to draft a free safety, maybe a linebacker. So hopefully the draft can be pretty good. First two rounds, we get something good. So let's head into this draft and we're going to be late again on as far as draft picks are concerned, literally picking around the same draft pick. But when we get a left tackle, a linebacker, free safety, I'd feel very good about this. So let's see if we can get lucky here. So we have... Sean Barton on the board. We have Spencer Haywood, which I just signed a left tackle. We have also Cole Nixon. So then John, John Smith, but I don't need either of a, I don't really need a left in at all. So I'm looking at, all right, we're going to go either Haywood or we're going, which Haywood looks awesome low key. So I might be taking him or what about Cole Nixon, which we need really badly because our free stage position isn't the best right now. A hit power. His coverage isn't the best. I think I'm going to go with the better prospect. I'm going to go with Spencer Haywood to protect Dak Prescott, and he is going to be Hinda Velma. So we get a left tackle, Hinda Velma left tackle. So it makes me regret signing Eric Fisher, to be honest with you. Why didn't I just think that I could draft a left tackle? I don't get it, but, you know, it is what it is. Too late now. So now we need a free safety. Can we get that here in round two is the question. I'm not sure we'll be able to. We have David Lender on the board, so he might be the best guy to go for. He's also a scheme fit. B zone coverage, B hit power. He has D man, but you know what? If he can be, he's only normal development. So you have two young free safeties, and that's just going to have to be what it is. So we're going to go year number three with the team we have, and got to be the best year we can have, man. 13-4 and four last year, got to buy. Not sure we can do much better than that, but of course, we got eliminated in round two, so we got to make sure we get farther than that, hopefully. So this is our last chance, boys. This is what the lineup is looking like. So Haywood ended up being a 73 overall. So yeah, we got a good upgrade at the left tackle spot in the draft, which is great. Defensively... We have literally nothing at the free safety spot. We got Terrell Edmonds in uh, that trade. So, you know what? Hopefully, this is just going to be good enough, man. We also got a tight end, it looks like, which is great in the fifth round or something. But uh, as far as offense is concerned, it looks like we can only be, uh, you know, 69% or six defense. And we got number one in this scheme last year. So, I'll just kind of leave that the way it is. So, less than wait this season. Third season is third year of the charm where we get to the Super Bowl with the Dallas Cowboys. I don't know. Or are we just going to simply not make the playoffs this year i guess that literally remains to be seen we'll see what happens so at the end of the season we finished second our division at 11 and 6 honestly at this point do i even care about the stats i guess i should take a quick peek at it and then we just jump into this game so offense was fifth in the nfl which is great so top five offense and defensively top six so we love that 33 and 13 typical thing zeke elliott's getting 30 touchdowns every year the man's an absolute stud in this game so shout out to Ezekiel Elliott. Hey, if you can do that in fantasy, I'll be drafting you round two or round one or whatever it may be. So uh, A.T. Perry was fantastic. Everything's looking good. And defensively, sacks wise, Micah Parsons probably still wreaking havoc in 12 and 11. Davenport 11. Yeah. So we got three pass rushers who are doing their thing. And then Trayvon Diggs still getting his picks. All right, man. Playoff time. Wild card weekend. Can we beat the Green Bay Packers is the question to move on to divisional round. This is our last chance. If we lose to Green Bay, we beat them or no, we lost them earlier in the video. So this would be our revenge factor here. Can Lambeau field or can McCarthy return to Lambeau and beat this team? Not looking good so far. It's 10 to zero. Okay. And we're going to go down seven to 10. Okay. Are we uh, come? Okay. There we go. 14 to 10, 14 to 13. Can we take the, yes, there we go. 21, 13 so far. So good. I mean, we've been in divisional each and every year. So if we can keep that up, that'd be great. I don't want to lose in wild card weekend, but we have the Packers kind of getting closer. You take another score. They take the lead. A minute 19 left. Dak is going to take the lead back and we are going to move on. All right. So back to divisional round we go. 
which we've been there every year. Can we get past the divisional round? Now we're headed to Carolina to see if we can get past the divisional round for one. So you got a Cowboys versus Panthers game. I'm ready to just get right into it, man. Like I said, we have not been past the divisional round once in this video. So can we do it? Here is the question. We're up seven to three. Allow another field goal. We throw an interception. We get the ball back with Trayvon Diggs getting one as well. And they're going to go up seven to 13. We need a score and Dak's going to put up a field goal need a score here 10 to 13 so far it is a close game we get an interception and we take the lead and can we go take it even higher please there we go 23 to 13 we may be actually making it to the nfc championship as long as nothing crazy happens and we do in fact finally get past the divisional round cowboys fans are probably the happiest they've ever been finally get past the division round we're headed to the nfc championship year number three might be the charm we needed and now that we're in the NFC Championship, we get to play our division rival, the Washington Commanders, which of course is my favorite team in real life. So this should be a very, very interesting game. Man, this is our path to get to the Super Bowl. Can we come out here and beat our division rival to do just that? For the most part, I will admit the Cowboys kind of are probably have a one up on the Commanders recently, but uh, especially last year, they beat the hell out of us twice, 10 to zero and it's 10 to seven. Okay, so we are kind of in the lead for now. And okay, so we might be punching our ticket to the Super Bowl. So far, so good. Up 13. Okay, they definitely get uh, a little bit closer. We get an interception from Garrett Williams. Shout out to him. 27-14. Get another one for Jabel Cox. Keep the lead right now. We could be headed to the Super Bowl with the Cowboys. There we go. And it looks like we are going to be headed to the Super Bowl with the Dallas Cowboys. And it looks like we get the Kansas City Chiefs. So I'm going to kneel this out, baby. And we are on to the Super Bowl. Super Bowl. With the dallas cowboys let's get it so in this series so far this is actually my second time in the super bowl i made it with the washington commanders and i actually faced the same team that time i played i faced the chiefs and the chiefs ended up beating me so can i get my revenge here with the dallas cowboys and actually win my first super bowl so far in madden 23 we're up seven to zero great start 14 to zero the cowboys may get it done for your boy here and we might have our first super bowl of the series 21 to zero Looking good, and we get an interception from Lane Van Rish for 94 yards. It is a shutout so far. Uh, man, if we allow the Chiefs to get back in this game, that'd be typical Cowboys fashion, bro. It is happening, isn't it? Uh-oh, it's happening. It's happening. Okay, we take the lead back a little bit higher. Okay, there we go. Okay, we're kind of pushing out of reach now. And just like that, boys, your boy has won his first Super Bowl in Madden 23, and it's with, with one of his least favorite teams in the NFL, the Dallas Cowboys. You know, I give all the respect in the world for the team they have, but... Their fans sometimes do annoy me. Not all of them. Sometimes some of them are cool, but most of them are just eh. But regardless, boys, we have won our first Super Bowl here in Madden 23, and that is with the Dallas Cowboys. So I'm going to end it off there. I'm going to let you guys watch the first celebration of the series. As This is beautiful. We beat the Chiefs, and I'm going to end it there. Thank you guys for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed. This is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.